Well, taking a look at your top story, the four-day Casata Central Committee meeting is starting at the St. George's Conference Centre in Pretoria today. The African National Congress is expected to deploy a member to address the Central Committee, which is being held under the 12th National Congress theme, Unity and Cohesion of Kosatu, to advance the National Democratic Revolution. This is the first Kosatu event after the Federation's decision to bar President Jacob Zuma from addressing its activities following the booing debacle at the May Day rally in Bloemfontein. Kosatu has reportedly officially invited Deputy President Sir Ramaphosa to address its Central Committee meeting on Wednesday. The Communication Workers Union has reportedly warned the ANC that it will be undermining Kosatu if it fails to send Deputy President Sir Ramaphosa to address the Federation's Central Committee meeting. Well, key questions emerging after Kosatu's stance are is the May Day debacle being used as a political tool in sidelining President Zuma? Is this Kosatu's bid to align with their preferred candidate in ANC a succession race? And lastly, can the ANC afford to ignore this unprecedented insult by an alliance partner? Well, ANN7 reporter Natasha Piri joins us on the phone line for more. A very good morning to you, Natasha. Thank you so much for joining us. Just paint us a picture of what's happening now as Kasatu prepares for their CEC meeting. Well, very good um, morning to you, Steph, uh, you and, of course, uh, the viewers. Uh, well, lots of Kosatu leaders and uh, affiliates have actually uh, trickled in. Uh, but actually, what's quite interesting to note is that word on the ground is that um, Deputy President Sol Ramap, of course, has actually, uh, you know, said to actually come address, uh, you know, uh, Kosatu affiliates and uh, those leaders actually today and not on Wednesday. As of now, we can't confirm that. Uh, but also, what's also interesting to note um is that also word on the ground is that the agency is actually sending um, Phil Ramaphosa. Now, this actually comes at the backdrop of, uh, you know, yesterday's NEC meeting where a motion of no confidence is actually tabled and voted against President Jacob Zuma, and he actually managed to actually survive that. So it's quite interesting to actually see uh, what's actually unfolding as well. And as we know that uh, President Jacob Zuma has been banned um, from attending all Kusat uh, activities, they have noted that they'd actually like or rather prefer uh, Deputy President Sol Ramaphos to actually come actually and address, um, you know, those workers. And this also follows um, the May Day rally events that actually occurred in Bloemfontein, where the president was actually booed, um, you know, and heckled. But, uh, you know, quite interestingly enough, um, last week, uh, when Kusatu leadership was actually addressing the media following their special CEC meeting, they said that they remain com committed to actually strengthen the alliance, but they're actually not backing down on their stance that President Jacob Zuma should be uh, stepped down as the president of the country, saying that, you know, just enough is enough. Uh, he's not a capable leader anymore, and uh, his time is, is basically over. He should just step down uh, as the president of the country. And it's quite interesting to note how the tables have actually turned, as you know, that Kusatu was quite fundamental uh, in Polokwane in, in 2007, where, uh, you know, President Jacob Zuma was backed uh, as being the president of uh, the ANC. But now it seems as if the tables have turned and Kusatu is, like, uh, is actually saying, I beg your pardon for that, um, that President Jacob Zuma to, um, should actually step down. So we also expect Kusatu to actually address a broad number of issues um, in uh, the Central Committee meeting that will actually take place over uh, the next few days. They also want to address issues like internal fights among the affiliates. Uh, however, they have noted as well that, uh, you know, more unions want to somehow uh, join uh, COSATU, as we know that they theme is unity and cohesion this year. So they'll be actually looking to strengthen COSATU, um, you know, as a federation, not only that, the alliance as well, as we know that uh, the alliance has, has actually had uh, strained relations uh, following SACP, following some Kusatu affiliates like uh, Nahau, uh, you know, like the Communications Workers Union, saying that President Jacob Zuma is no longer fit to hold office. So quite interesting times politically, um, you know, and it'd be quite interesting to actually see what actually unfolds over the past three days. And just reiterating what I said at the beginning, that um, word on the ground is that uh, Sir Ramaphosa will actually be um, you know, addressing workers today. Uh, we haven't confirmed that, but of course we will keep you updated uh, with the latest developments uh, in regards with the story. Natasha, just before we let you go, what can we expect to come from Kasatu's uh, Central Committee meeting today? 
well, Steph, like I alluded to earlier on, um, Kosas is actually going to address a number of broad issues as well, uh, you know, uniting uh, the federation as well. And um, so much also, you know, uh, smoothing out the challenges that the federation actually faces uh, in terms of, um, you know, some of the affiliates having, um, you know, some internal fights. They're hoping to also address that and uh, also attracting more unions, you know, to the federation as well. But uh, basically the talk is just uh, uniting, uh, you know, the federation uh, by its best. Well, thank you so much for that update. That was our reporter, Natasha Pui. They're joining us on the phone line. She is at St. George's Conference Centre in Irene Pretoria, where the COSATU CEC meeting is taking place this morning.